I come in now? Hello, my name is Whitney Blake, otherwise known as Zippo, of the species Pouches Zippus. I was born on November 30th, 1962, in New York City. We were the perfectly planned family, all children being born two years apart. My father was a book publisher, and my mother worked for various committees. When I was in second grade, we moved into New Haven, Connecticut, to a house infested with ticks and lice. My father became discontent with his new job and quit. The family splintered as depression and alcohol soaked my father's sense. He died one summer at the age of 47. I think he wanted to get out, and sometimes I'd like to join him. My droll daily routine. Alarm, moan, rise, stretch, shave, brush teeth, get out the door, get out the door, walk four blocks west of the Strand Bookstore, take books out of boxes and try to fit them onto the shelves. If they don't fit, they go back into the box. Sisyphus, 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 Sisyphus rules. I've become my supervisor's scapegoat. I am the marginal worker, quote, unquote. As a result, he's always driving down hard on me and giving me an anal patron's advice. Go to the AA, quote, unquote. When I punch out of work, I invariably begin the incrimination. I go to the bank, buy some alcohol, Maybe some marijuana, go home, pay the hi-fi, and call up friends to join me on the bar car. Alcohol can be befuddling or clairvoyant or nothing at all, just piss.
while my clarinet and camera and taken photos since I was a kid mainly of people my high school friends drinking in an alley an older brother twisting a younger sister's arm a sleeping bum with flowers outside a Boston bank most of these are taken candidly so people don't stand in these rigid poses <laughs> several girlfriends, but nothing ever rocked steady. It seems impossible to maintain it personally. Either she finds something fresher, or I do, and we just break it up, softly or harshly. One old girlfriend is going to have a baby in a couple of weeks. It's a scary thing. She'll be raising it alone, but sympathy is easy from a distance, and I won't be sure about what's going on between us until I see her face to face and the baby face. I'm speaking in my shell and Avenue A and I hope that tomorrow doesn't hold as much frustration as today has. Now it's about time for a haircut, so cut.